it, man. You know how I just, it's been a while since uh, I was able to talk to you. I've been trying to, you know, uh, you know, I'm struggling with my lawyer, and uh, one of my lawyers just quit. And uh, so I'm having an issue with them filing the motions properly and calling witnesses. Uh, so, you know, your principle supposed to bear out the facts. It's supposed to be based on the facts, right? And so, and, and so I'm trying to get my lawyer and them to call witnesses to verify the facts on pretrial because you can't wait to the last minute to call witnesses to trial uh, and have these police come to trial or try to hunt these police down at the last minute. These are officers of the law, and they're supposed to be, uh, 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 you know, they're supposed to be subpoenaed before trial. You know what I'm saying? And he's not doing that, you know? And uh, they do this to a lot of people now. I've been charged with the death penalty. So the law in Texas says that you can't be charged with the death penalty for some other civil circumstances where the florist and, you know, cause you to do a make a split second decision. And so I've been charged with the, uh, knowingly shooting the police. So my lawyer won't challenge the wording of the indictment. And he won't call witnesses who said that uh, I was in the house and he won't call the police, though, man, Will, who says that he never heard me, that they didn't first announce this stuff. And so, so that means that my case is not being litigated properly. And by the fact, that's one issue. Uh, the motions that he's putting in, he's putting the motions in, he's putting everything in one motion, right? We have a good reason to suppress evidence in my case because under Article 3823, uh, the the appellate court says that if, uh, in order to suppress evidence, they, there has to be a reason, uh, a violation in the manner of entry and the way they collected evidence. We we have that. First of all, they went. They had no business serving that warrant without the officer being there. And secondly, they took guns from the crime scene to the house. And so my lawyer didn't litigate that separately from. The, the other issues, because it's a death penalty case, you have to be specific about how you litigate in this case. The other issue is that uh, the affidavit, the, what I've heard is that they got this affidavit after they already messed up and came to my house. Here's the issue in the affidavit. It never says, if they tell the public, that I committed a crime. It never says I sold anybody no drugs. It only says that uh, he's supposed to have information from somebody who said this a CI, but the CI don't bear out none of the accusations that the officers made making in his affidavit. But the most important thing is no nexus between my the, the house the house and any drug activity, period, in the affidavit. But they tell the police that they were there for drugs. So, you know, it's just it's the way that they're trying to cover this up. And they're not I don't, they put me with a lawyer won't litigate my case properly, and I'm telling him, hey man, you have to basically say, challenge the affidavit and say that the lawyer lied, I mean, uh, not the lawyer, the, uh, the officer lied with a reckless disregard for his truth when he requested a search for to search my house, because it doesn't say that I committed a crime in the house, it doesn't say any criminal activity took place there that was factual, you know what I'm saying? And so, that has to be litigated separately. And, and request a Frank's hearing, and then the, the judge has to uh, weigh that out. But it has to be specifically litigated right. What happened was my lawyer let the officer get on the stand without filing a motion and have him embellish, he tried to embellish on his affidavit and say that he did have uh, some drug sales buys from me from somebody. My lawyer should have objected to that. You did because if a judge want to miss out your case, he can put that in your file, and then it can, it can, and, and, and on the appeal, they can say, well, you know, the judge evaluated that, so that's good. But he never, uh, 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 uh you know, uh, objected to that, which I would have, like I asked him to. And it's another thing that's going on. Um, uh, the judge is uh, taking evidence off the record. They refuse it to have witnesses come. So in the, in the United States of America, we're supposed to have a right to have witnesses called on our behalf. And the police is, is, is the only witnesses to this case, but they're not showing up. And But this is 
saying that the judge won't let me do this, the judge won't let me do that. That's not fair, man. You know, what can I do? I'm just one person, man, and I've been locked up for seven years because they know what they did was wrong. And so they want to cover for these officers, where, as you look at in uh, Houston, they had officers do the same thing. But they were African-American officers. They were fired. Uh, they, they were fired on the first day and brought up on state and federal charges. And just last week, I saw it on the news, they uh, uh, charged uh, several more officers in that no-knock warrant. You know what I'm saying? Because they went in the house, they tried to go in somebody's house that wasn't selling drugs or nothing, nothing, and they killed them. You know what I mean? So it's tough, man. You know, it's tough just going through these issues, man, time after time, man, you know, and knowing the law and knowing what, how your lawyer is supposed to uh, build your case. I learned the law. I got a law book. I learned what they're supposed to do, what's supposed to happen, what's, what, what's supposed to be an day, what's not supposed to be an day. But it's terrible, man, to see the ethical violations that these people down here in Bell County is uh, involved in, man. And it's tough for me to get anybody to understand that, hey, man, listen, this is something else. And then, you know, they committed a hate crime in the process, like I've always said, by sticking a gun in my mouth and, 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 and using vulgar language toward me, man. You know what I'm saying? And my, and they don't want that, that officers get on the stand and say that. And so, you know, it's tough, man, to go up against a system that don't want to see you have fair justice, don't want to see the truth come out, you know, because it will barely damage the town and those those officers who committed this uh, fragrant act against me, man, you know, who uh, came to my house, man, uh, broke my back, you know, damaged my spine, and, you know, it's been tough, man, you know, it's been tough going through it, but, you know, I'll just be strong, man, but, you know, it, it, it's tough, you're supposed to, these people you're supposed to trust, you know, but they kicking down people's doors now, and they get more brazen and brazen and kicking people's doors down just because they want to have fun, you know? And people don't believe that they would do this type of stuff, you know? And so that's why it's so hard for you to get a fair trial because once you go and try the DA, and once it hasn't been fair from the beginning, once they haven't uh, 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 made this process fair from the time they attempted to run to my house and cover up from the time your paperwork and everything go to the DA and they uh, redact things and clean things up and destroy things. And so, you know, by the time you get to trial, you know, you're an innocent man. And they telling me I'm an innocent man who's terrorized that I got to go to trial. But they indicted me for being a terrorist. And they came to my house just because they want to. It, it wasn't no snitch. They didn't have no snitch and nothing that. But because the guy that they claimed was a snitch, he never told them that. But they won't let nobody see that video. So they can going to destroy all the evidence that's in my favor and let the DA go in and, and, and make up this fictional story like, oh, he did this, he did this. But the law is this. The law is this, man. This is a stand your ground state. And there's no duty to retreat in Texas, right? So the bottom line is they never even said what my defense was. You have one minute left.